Whoop whoop, what it do, y'all? Cali Green 2 Fresh holding down for Carnival Spirits. We be them ninjas in action. So, let's talk about this recent situation with Twisted. So, once again, they are talking shit. Talking mad shit. Talking shit about the Juggalo March. But we've all heard that shit before. The one main thing that I'm going to talk about here is... Jamie Madrox getting pissed about a song that came out over a decade ago. So, let's backtrack a little bit. Earlier today, CPN released a video that has audio on it of Twisted talking shit about the Juggalo March, amongst other things. Now, one of the things that Jamie Madrox brings up in that fucking audio clip is that he had just recently apparently heard the supervillains track um i can't remember the actual name of it but it's known as the faggot song and it's basically a track just you know gay bashing so first of all this track came out over a decade ago i want to say like sometime between 2005 2006 now, during those years, it was more acceptable to talk shit on gay people. This was over a decade ago. Times have changed. It's not acceptable in this day and age the same way it was then. But it was more openly acceptable back then. Now, the other thing I want to touch on is the fact that he says that he had apparently never heard it until recently. He's offended because, you know, he has gay relatives or whatever. Well, motherfucking Esham jumps online and is basically like, yo, that's bullshit. Fucking Monoxide Child at the very beginning of that fucking song, which he is. And Jamie was present when they recorded the track. Seriously, what the fuck, Jamie? What the fuck? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but Gmo Ski signs to fucking Magic Ninja Entertainment. His debut album, My Filthy Spirit Bomb. Just about every fucking song on that album, Gay Bashes. Correct me if I'm wrong. Go ahead. Fucking do your research. Listen to the fucking album. Pretty fucking hypocritical, if you ask me. Pretty fucking hypocritical. Now, like I said, they're talking shit about the march. We've already heard that shit before. You know, they, they're saying that, oh, there is no fucking gang labeling, no fucking FBI list, all that. Um, yeah, there is. <laughs> it's it's fucking out there fucking public's eye it's there it exists now i personally don't know how to feel when it comes to twisted i have a lot of mixed emotions i mean like shit i fucking have hold on a sec bam right there fucking cryptic collection 2 right here in my fucking car you know, I still am a fan of their music. What I'm not a fan of is the way that they have been acting as of late. You know, let's cut the fucking bullshit. Cut the fucking bullshit. Let's get back to the fucking roots, the music. Keep fucking ICP's name out of your motherfucking mouths. Get over it fucking get over it how long ago did twisted leave psychopathic records end of fucking 2012 <laughs> 12 13 14 15 16 17 five years ago really really you're still fucking talking shit get over it so i don't know that's just my 
thoughts and opinions on the matter. How do you feel? How do you feel about it? You know, let us know in the comments below. Make sure to go check out CPN's video and, you know, listen to that fucking audio because, you know, it's pretty out there. Pretty out there shit. So till next we meet, Cali Green too fresh. Always keep it wicked motherfucking fresh. Deuces. Whoop whoop.